UK healthcare faces enormous challenges, which we believe can be in part solved using artificial intelligence and NVIDIA technology. UK healthcare has access to far more data than was ever previously available to it. And this enormous amount of data can be used to help scientists predict disease, treat disease, and give precision treatments to patients. NVIDIA's mission and purpose in healthcare is to enable scientists and researchers, doctors, to solve the challenges of modern healthcare and medicine by using artificial intelligence and accelerated compute. King's College London is a world leader in medical research, so they were a very natural partner for NVIDIA. We really want to enable KCL to accelerate their research using NVIDIA technology. At King's College London, we are working jointly with our partner hospitals and university collaborators to create platforms that can collect data and do the kind of analysis and research and training of algorithms at the scale that is necessary to solve real-world problems. One of the main issues that we had so far was the lack of availability of hardware. And this is exactly where NVIDIA can come in. A lot of the study that currently happens in the healthcare setting is built around patient data. And obviously, as you can imagine, patient data has a huge amount of privacy issues. If we can generate synthetic version of that data, we can do as many studies as we want without having to jeopardize that patient's privacy. So ability to generate synthetic data not only gives us the ability to understand how different factors affect the brain or your anatomy or your pathology, but also allows us to do this research having very minimal impacts in privacy and governance. We are creating algorithms that can learn the patterns and what imaging data looks like, more specifically what brain images look like, and algorithms that can imagine new data sets where we can control the characteristics, for example, the age of a patient or the pathology that the patient suffers from. We can now ask our model to generate an almost infinite amount of data. We can start tackling problems such as understanding how diseases affect the brain, understanding when abnormalities might or might not exist, but also being able in the future, for example, to develop new drugs and new treatments and simulate what these effects might look like in silico, inside of a computer chip, rather than trying it on, on people. If we can generate brains, and we can distinguish brains that are normal and abnormal, and for example, if we know what a healthy human brain looks like, we can also identify when an image that we're observing deviates from that pattern of normality that we expect. You can then tell the clinicians the location where that abnormality exists and why is that brain abnormal, which means it can help identify pathologies and diagnose patients. We really use the full NVIDIA stack. The latest A100 80 gigabyte GPUs in the DGX A100 server, PyTorch, we used QDNN. In order to visualize these results, we've experimented with using the Omniverse platform. We've got some really encouraging results from Omniverse from this task, and we really think that Omniverse can be used by physicians and researchers in the future for enabling them to understand how to interpret their research. Cambridge One provides 400 AI petaflops of performance, so we can allow scientists and researchers in healthcare in the UK to perform tasks which they were previously never able to perform. You're going to be able to perform AI training, process huge amounts of data to a scale never before possible. We also want Cambridge One to be a hub for the healthcare AI research community in the UK. We want people to get together and innovate and develop new healthcare technology to an unprecedented scale. We are also providing a tool, a software piece, and a series of models to the community so that you can generate your own brain imaging data, but you can also apply the software to your own medical images of other body parts and other diseases so you can generate data of something that is of interest to you. We would like to see scientists and researchers push the boundaries of their endeavors, push the boundaries of science, understand medicine, understand healthcare to levels which we've previously been unable to do.